And many of us are all too familiar, familiar with the phrase, allergy season is upon us. But what exactly does that mean? When does allergy season start? Or better yet, when will it end? KNOP's Tristan Winder joins us now for a special allergy season report. Seasonal allergies are allergy symptoms that occur at certain times of the year, typically when allergens and different types of pollens are released into the air. Great Plains Health Physicians Assistant Stacy Coppersmith reports that it's not uncommon for seasonal allergies to start a little earlier than they have this year. Some people are just finally starting to notice that that's what their symptoms are. It can unfortunately progress and worsen throughout the remainder of the spring season, especially with these high pollen counts and the high wind volumes that we have. People who live out in the country might be experiencing it a little earlier, but now people even living in the city are going to notice it too. Coppersmith adds that seasonal allergies often begin with a little nasal congestion and maybe some itchy and watery eyes and increased sneezing. But in more significant cases, Coppersmith says individuals may experience a scratchy or sore throat with even a cough. Unfortunately, allergies can really start at any point in your life and they can wax and wane throughout a lifespan. So even if you've never had allergies before, they can develop. And it can be bad one season and better the next, or um, bad for year after year. It's kind of something you have to just figure out as you go along. Coppersmith says allergies know no age limit. You know, we can see allergies already developing in infants. I think when I mostly see parents starting to bring their children in is around the preschool years, uh, when they're starting to have kind of differentiating between common colds and allergies, and when is this runny nose ever going to go away? So that's a lot of our initial diagnosis is in that preschool age group. The atmosphere and mother nature can play a large part in seasonal allergies. Drier air can increase the pollen counts and how much access we have to the pollen when it's moved in the wind. So um, you'll see pollen counts dampen temporarily with the rain if we get it. And then of course they can increase again after that because things will pollinate more when they're well watered. Coppersmith says that in general, we'll see allergies continue to rise for the American population with increased numbers in adolescents as well. Reporting from Great Plains Health in North Platte, I'm Tristan Winder, NBC Nebraska News 2. And Wednesday, Coppersmith will join us to provide tips on getting through the spring allergy season.